Apple is making headway in its plans to create 20,000 American jobs over the next five years. And Austin, Texas is the big winner. Austin already has the largest Apple offices outside of Silicon Valley. Now it's getting a new billion dollar campus with a capacity of 15,000 workers. Apple is going to join Dell and Whole Foods, which each have their global headquarters in Austin, and for good reason. In time, Apple will trump them both and become the city's largest employer. It's a lovely place, great food, wonderful people, and high academic standards, with UT Austin being there. Austin's Mayor Steve Adler joins me now. Mr Mayor, congratulations on getting the Apple uh, jobs. Um, before we talk about what benefit it will bring to your city, how much do you think the give-backs or the tax breaks, the sweeteners, whatever we call them, how much do you think it's going to cost Austin? You know, it's not going to cost the city of Austin uh, 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 anything. Uh, we're not giving uh, any, any, any incentives associated with this project. Williamson County uh, has taken, taken the lead, and, and apparently they're giving a... Uh, a tax abatement for about 15 years. The state has a, uh, a fund, uh, and, and I think about $15 million is coming out of that fund. But the city of Austin uh, is just uh, expanding on, the, on the, the prior relationship that we've had with Apple. How competitive, as best you know, was it to get this? Bearing in mind that Apple already has a sizable facility in the city. Well, you know, we certainly uh, uh, expect that, that, that it was competitive and that Apple looked at lots of different uh, opportunities. Uh, but what we offer here in, in, in Austin is a, is a great quality of life. It's a beautiful city. In addition to your list, the music is pretty good in Austin. We have a real skilled workforce uh, with the University of Texas uh, and, a, and an environment. Apple, I think, knows that it shares a, a real creative spark with, uh, with the city of Austin and a commitment to do big things. Uh, so we're just real pleased that we can expand on and build on that relationship. Do you think the way Apple went about this was perhaps more transparent? I was going to use the word honest, but that's pejorative. Let's say, let's go for a neutral word of transparent versus Amazon and the way they went against HQ2, which many people believe was a fix from start to finish. Well, we were never really sure about what uh, Amazon was doing. Uh, you know, I wrote an initial letter to, to Amazon and, and, and invited a conversation uh, that would have addressed uh, uh, not only what they needed, but also our big challenges, which are affordability and mobility. Uh, and that was a conversation that, Am that uh, Amazon didn't want to, uh, to, to engage in. They found other cities. Uh, but the, the relationship and the conversation with, with Apple here locally right. has always been pretty straightforward. When you do get a large company that, that it becomes the largest single employer, has a very large footprint, is economically so significant, how difficult is it for you as mayor and for the city council? Uh, when I, you know, I always remember going to places like Redmond in Washington State, or you go to Southern California where Disney's based, and the answer is, well, where does Disney sit? Wherever it wants to. How do you be? How do you handle that with Apple? Well, you know, at this situation, even with this expansion, and while Apple would become the largest employer if everybody else held where they held where they are. Uh, no single employer in, in, in this city commands such a, uh, a dominant place uh, that, uh, that uh, everything revolves around that entity. We, we join together on, on searching for, for, for mutual community benefit. And in this case, we love the location. It's going to help create an additional downtown right. urban area uh, for our region. Uh, so uh, we're working in, in pretty much in, in concert. But they don't have undue uh, pull. No one does in this city right now. Mr. Mayor, when we bring Quest Means Business to Austin, I hope, sir, that I can invite you to show me around, show me the best bits. We would love to show it to you. We'll find some good music and some good breakfast tacos. Oh, I mean, now, now we're talking. Sir, good to see you, sir. Thank you for taking time out of your busy day. I appreciate it. Thank you. Good to see you, too.